Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about septic abortion. First we will see definition. Any abortion associated with clinical infection of the uterus and its content it's, it's, is called as septic abortion. So, already we have been discussed about incomplete abortion. What happens in the incomplete abortion? There will be a conceptual product remain inside the uterus that may cause infection. So, that any abortion associated with clinical infection. So, that is called as septic abortion. So, how we are going to uh, uh, recognize this abortion, septic abortion? There will be a increased temperature that is about 38 degrees centigrade above and there might be offensive purulent vaginal discharge or other evidences of pelvic infection, uh, pelvic infection such as lower abdominal pain or tenderness. So, this may uh, be considered as a septic abortion. Incidences. So, it is very difficult to work out the overall incidences of septic abortion. About 10% of abortion requiring admission to hospital are septic. I said already the majority of septic abortions are associated with incomplete abortion. Majority of case of the inf uh, case the infection occurs following the illegal induced abortion because proper antiseptic and asepsis are not taken. So that's why it may uh, increase the chances of infection. Next mode of infection. The microorganisms are involved in the sepsis are usually anaerobic and aerobic anaerobic anaerobic like uh, clostridium welsi tetanus bacillus streptococci comes under anaerobic aerobic next escherichia coli klebsiella staphylococcus pseudomonas so these are the aerobic mixed infection is more common so the increased association of sepsis in unsafe induced abortion is due to the Facts like not maintaining proper antiseptic or asepsis, incomplete evacuation. So, when evacuation is done, there will be remain parts inside the uterus. So, this is about the mode of in infe infection. Next, clinical features. So, here I am discussing only important clinical features. Under this, septic abortion, the woman looks sick and anxious, temperature rises above 38 degrees centigrade and chills and rigors can be seen, persistent tachycardia that is above 90 beat per minute, heart rate and abdominal or chest pain can be seen. When we do pelvic examination, it will reveal offensive and purulent vaginal discharge and uterine tenderness. Apart from this, the women may have diarrhea, vomiting and impaired mental state. So, these are the clinical features. So, here clinical grading we are going to see. It has been divided into grade 1, grade 2, grade 3. Grade 1. Infection will be localized in uterus only. Grade 2. Infection spread beyond the uterus. Beyond the uterus means to the parametrium, tubes and ovaries, pelvic peritoneum and under grade 3 there will be a generalized peritonitis and renal failure and even endotoxic shock also. So, these are the three grades. Investigations. So, here it is associated with the infection. So, first we need to collect cervical or vaginal swabs, blood for hemoglobin and blood culture because we need to see the growth of the microorganisms and urine analysis. In this also urine culture we will see ultrasonography. Here ultrasonography of pelvis and abdomen to detect intrauterine retained product of conception or not. For that, we will go for ultrasonography and plain X-ray. 
in suspected cases only uh, like uh, bowel injury if there is any bowel injury then we'll go for plain x-rays this is about the investigations complications there will be immediate remote complications under immediate complication hemorrhage injury and spread of infection hemorrhage re uh, related due to abortion process and injury if the uterus uterine wall injured during the surgery or spread of in, in infection i said already there will be a generalized peritonitis in grade 3 endotoxic shock acute renal failure so it may occur in imme immediate next in the remote under remote chronic pelvic pain chronic pelvic pain and ectopic pregnancy secondary infertility even it goes to the secondary infertility and also the women has emotional depression severe emotional depression so these these complication can occur prevention so i said that these septic abortions and infections occurs following during um, following illegal induced abortion so first we need to rigid enforcement of legalized abortion in practice when will be a septic precautions so then there will not be a infection next to boost up the family planning acceptance in order to curb the unwanted pregnancy why women will go for uh, septic uh, illegal abortion because unwanted pregnancy so first we need to do uh, boost up the family planning either it may be permanent or temporary so to avoid this uh, uh, septic abortion we need to boost up for planning family planning so so with this we can prevent septic abortion management so here according to the clinical grading we are going to give the treatment grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 so under grade 1 antibiotics and analgesics and sedatives are given antibiotic uh, to remove the infections and analgesics and sedative for to treat with the pain next under grade 2 antibiotics antimicrobial therapy are in combination can be given and surgery antimicrobial therapy under this vancomycin clindamycin gentamicin metronidazole so this can be given to the patient and surgery evacuation of uterus in, in severe hemorrhage evacuation should be withheld for at least 48 hours when the infection is controlled and is localized the only exception is being excessive bleeding when there is excessive bleeding then evacuation of uterus done Posterior colpotum. When the infection is localized in the pouch of Douglas, posterior colpotomy and drainage of the pus relieve the symptoms and improve the general outlook of the patient. So, this to remove the pus, posterior colpotomy should be done with combination of antibiotic and antimicrobial therapy. This is grade 1, grade 2. Next, grade 3. Under grade 3, Antibiotics should be given, supportive therapy and laparotomy. So, this laparotomy should be done by experienced surgeon with a skilled anesthetist. It, when it should be done, injury to the uterus, suspected injury to the bowel, any presence of foreign body in the abdomen, so which is evidenced by the ultrasonography and x-ray. So, then we have to go for the laparotomy. The final nursing management so midwives play a major role in uh, for caring the patient with septic abortion the nurse must observe for vaginal bleeding and cramping and save expelled tissues and clots which should be sent for the examination monitor vital signs every 5 minutes to 4 hours depending on the maternal status maintain women on bed rest observe for signs of shock and institute treatment measures. Prepare for dilatation and curettage if it is appropriate. Provide support but avoid offering false assurance. So, this is about the nursing management. If you have any kinds of doubt, you can message me.